Healdsburg dealt with a lot of storm trouble today. Yeah, they had flooded creeks there, flooded parking lots. KPIX 5's Don Ford shows us some of the damage and a little bit of fun residents had with all of this. Yeah, we're in Healdsburg, the Russian River rose sharply. I haven't seen the river like this in, in, a, in a decade or more. It jumped up tremendously since this morning. At some spots, it is expected to rise more than 30 feet. Yeah, Folks are gathering yeah, on bridges to watch as giant logs, trees, and other debris race downstream. This is scary. Further south, the San Antonio Creek is flooding as it crosses under Highway 101, nearly touching the bridge and spilling over into local roads. Caltrans wants to know what the flood water is doing to the bridge supports. Now they can see through the water using a specialized radio controlled boat equipped with an acoustic Doppler radar, GPS, and other specialized sensors. This remarkable new tool allows Caltrans for the first time to gather safely information in real time from some very hazardous locations. From a safe position, the hydrologist steers the boat into position and data is transmitted to a computer on so shore. Can, and this is that represents the bottom of the channel. Instantly displaying water speed, depth, and even a graphic of the stream wow. bed. It's a unique tool. This is the only one that I know of. It's the only one Caltrans owns. The bridge looks fine, but back in Healdsburg, the Safeway parking lot flooded. Well, this is Lake Safeway and became the latest paddling party spot, complete with a winch-powered wakeboard. Canoes, kayaks, and canines. Folks were having fun until the party-pooping police asked folks to kindly move on. Party's over. In Healdsburg, Don Ford, KPIX5. <laughs>